what's goody what's poppin youtube it's your boy who's man you already know what time it is getting into the next part of this 32 team series series going over the ravens i'm um, going over their playbook so go ahead hit the subscribe button because we will <clears throat> basically be going over all 32 playbooks we're almost done but yeah using the ravens so let's get into it Um, King Reggie has videos going over the pistol, um, dope dude, definitely go peep his channel out, peep all that, uh, it's the triple option, as you see there's a lot of option, the Ravens playbook is really good for running the ball, so if you really like running the ball, this is a good, um, playbook, uh, they only have two under center, well, two single back, and then, um, they only have one I form wing and then strong wing, uh, strong wing. And then as far as the pistol, they do have a lot of that. Now, if you do like running air raid, they do have the, um, spread pistol spread fade, stop vertical, shallow cross PA deep in, um, all good plays, uh, zone alert bubble here. So split wing nasty, only three plays. Um, obviously you can sprinkle these in once a game. I would I would say that is most motion power, uh, PA mesh, and then re option. They all go off of each other. They all look the same. They all have the same kind of motion at the beginning. Um, here's the motion power. It's just a power run. As I don't know why the guard didn't even try to block um, him at all. But so they have the PA mesh. Um, I, how I like to read this is Ricard one, um, Brown two, and then the mesh. So how I read it is if anybody goes off with Ricard, nobody went with Ricard. So I'll dump it off to him. Boom. And that's a fullback and I'm going against the Ravens and they do have a good defense. So, and then they also have a, um, read option with that too. Um, split close pro really good um this y off power read is nice because um it gives you a different look on these read options and basically if the guy the read guy if he stays home if he doesn't rush into you you hold it and instead of the running back running up the middle it's lamar jackson so he came you rush down you hand it off to your running back follow your blocks um this isn't a play i would run too much based off how people like to run defense but you see there i mean there's potential the thing is you just have to read um the defense there so there is that play it is nice to sprinkle it in every so often nobody really expects you to run up the middle with your quarterback um the uh, y off pa post um this is a nice play I like to read this as um, Watkins one, then Ricard, and then Andrews, and then you know you also have Brown. Um, if you want to, you could put him on a deep dig if you can, um, but you can't keep it stock. But read Watkins, boom. If you need to low ball it, if it's man, you know you have a mismatch with Andrews because tight ends just always for some, some reason create mismatches in Madden and they're also hard to guard in the NFL in general because there's so much bigger uh, bigger catch radius but uh, corner strike the option route basically how that's going to be read is if it's man if it's cover one if it's cover three he's running the end if it's cover two he's definitely running that post shovel option pretty nice the PAF slide is nice the RPO power peak is nice. They also have that RPO um, power O. Texas is great against man. Deuce close. Deuce close is good. Um, switch is nice. Uh, basically, you read this like stick. Um, I know in cover three, Brown should be completely wide open. So this is man. And you can throw it to Boyle right there. 
an instance of cover three or something like that. You look at the other side, boom, hit the out, but Lamar cannot throw. They're running a lot of cover three blitzes. Um, it just makes it hard for the user to defend. Uh, bench swap, good. Um, bench dig. Mesh spot is really good. I've gone over that a bunch. And I'm actually going to go over mesh um, <clears throat> here in a second in the next video. Um, wing slot is nice as well. Um, buck, sweep re buck sweep read option is pretty nice. Once again, you have that power read. Um, double post is good against cover four. You have normal Y off close. Uh, double slants can be pretty nice. Mesh spot, another power read. Red zone scissors, normal Y off. You got Raven sail, four verts, touch pass, all these. You have another red zone scissors. Flex Y off weak. Another dope play. RPO read screen. Flanker spot. Once again, on the flanker spot, you read the that little uh, hitch towards the end. You read the swing from the running back, and then you read the the uh, corner. And then if none of that looks nice, you can read the high low on the back side from that hitch and then dig smash. Smash is really good against cover two. Um, y off trio. They have the power read again. Uh, dagger. You have stick. A lot of good plays in here bunch uh raven's trail is amazing read the drag then you read that texas from the tight end and then the deep post is basically high low after that they do have bench pivot which is really nice um, flanker drive drag hitch dig or actually the sorry the hitch and then it's just a drive so you read high low across the middle and um also you have the post so if they have you know say they're playing cover two and you know that the middle linebacker is covering the deep dig and you have somebody covering the drag the post should be open in cover two um then you have z spot obviously once again you read the hitch on the bunch side the flat and then the the corner you have mesh spot the clear out SE. And we're going to bunch open offset, which creates a lot of uh, alignment issues. RPO read bubble inside zone, which is really good. This RPO trap alert screen is good because traps are so good, especially against, um, you know, they give you the certain look. I've gone over that before. Now they have spread Y flex. Really good formation, especially if you like air raid. Uh, slot outs. Have smash HB check curl flats under Y option. Uh, next, they have sp spread double flex deep curl with a drive on the back. They also have the FL cross, and this is essentially shallow cross. This just you kind of flip who's um, running the drag on the left side there smash um, tray open strong which if your opponent likes to run a lot of um, match this is something you can use to kind of throw it off um, slot fade double ends is really nice uh, fade stop really good play um, that crossing route gets over top of that fade stop um, especially if they've been running a lot of cover two or man something like that really get over there level switch is really nice I'll be getting into that play or yeah that play next tray open level switch again they have strong flood uh, Y corner you have curls go this drag vertical is really nice Empty base flex, uh, middle high low. Once again, high low. Read the hitch first. <coughs> if they cover it low, you should have it something beaten deep. If they're playing cover two, um, you know, so you have basically your choice on the 
go on the outside on that trip side or the um, post if they're playing cover two verts level switch another shallow cross and then they have empty quads and this out double under is wild um so reading this you read the drag you read that kind of like dig it's almost like a slant uh it goes outside and then in and then you read the out um by andrews and so you look at the drag they're covering the drag that slant comes in behind it you definitely have to make sure that the user um continues to go with that you have to throw it a little early there's that window they do have a lot of really dope plays um vert double under really good against cover three by the way um but it's the same as out double under it's just you know if you've noticed that the seam has been wide open when you're running this you run vert double under and he's gonna stay in the you know in the seam and you can torch him down the middle there um but um yeah that's the Ravens playbook. Hopefully this playbook made a lot of sense for you. Hopefully me breaking down the reads there maybe helped you understand how you should read certain plays. But um, yeah, that's it. Um, hit the subscribe button if you do enjoy these because I will go through the rest of these playbooks. And then next um, should be a Ravens gameplay. And I will actually continue to use the Air Raid uh, playbook when I play now. Um, because I will, I'm going through the air raid playbook as well. Um, so we'll be doing that, but continue to watch these videos, man. We pumping them out and the next air raid video I'm going to go through is mesh. So look out for that, but thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.